Hey guys, Dino Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land, whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, well it's winter time and uh, we have issues with the uh, animals' water getting frozen. So I've come up with a couple of ideas that we're going to try and uh, they should work. Um, so what, what I have here is uh, this thing's called an immersion heater. You can get them uh, on the internet for a couple five bucks or so, uh, sent right to your door. These are for use in cars and vehicles. They're a 12 volt uh, heater. And what they're designed to do is uh, you plug it into your cigarette lighter and then you put this in whatever the cup is that you want to get hot. And this little thing here, this little coil gets hot and warms up the liquid inside your cup. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is the style of water that I use for my chicken house. What I'm gonna do is, since this thing is 12 volt, we are going to uh, cut the plug off of it and wire it to uh, a solar panel. And that'll heat that up enough to where we can hang this on the edge of the chicken water right here by the spout where the water comes out. And that'll keep that warm enough to keep some water flowing. Now keep in mind, yeah, this is just gonna be a, a, a little bit of juice that's being made by the solar panel. Not nearly as much as what a car would pump out, but I'm not trying to get the water hot. I'm just trying to keep it above freezing so that it can dribble out into the tray where the chickens can still get a drink of water. Uh, we're gonna do this to this water and we're gonna do that to the, uh, up there where the goat's water is, the big bathtub that's up there, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So this will work. I know it works because I've already hooked the solar panel up uh, to, this here is the positive and this here is the negative. I've already hooked the solar panel up and this thing did get hot. Uh, that little 45 watt solar panels uh, that I get from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar, uh, Jeff over there is a great dude. Uh, they cost about 50 bucks. Uh, the reason that I'm doing this is because my barns aren't wired. I have solar lights and stuff like that in all my barns. And I know they make heat tape that you can get and wrap around everything, but that runs off 110. And uh, the 12 volt stuff that I found was more than what I was able to pay. So this is what we got and this will work. So what we're gonna do is uh, start hooking this up to the solar panel. Um, that's in here on the chicken house and uh, I guess we'll go from there. So we'll see in a second once I get this end cut off and we'll get it wired to the panel and get everything set up and I'll show you right here in a second what we got going on. Okay guys, I hope you can see this. You can see I got my uh, my panel here. Where is it? There it is. It's, uh, it's getting the full sun right now and then I've got the wire going down uh, into the side here where we send the other wires for the other panels. I uh, hope you can see that or not. I can't, I'm having trouble seeing the viewfinder because of the sun here. And then down there at the bottom, hello girls. Down there at the bottom, you can see I got the, uh, the actual immersion heater part right there. I just used a, a little clamp and clamped it to the side where the water flows out. There's a little spigot where the water flows out. Uh, that way it'll keep that area warm and uh, keep the water flowing. And it is warm. I stuck my fingers in there. looks like the ladies are enjoying it. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to work. We'll go up there and uh, do the other, do the bathtub up there. That's the one that I want to make sure we kind of keep a little bit thawed because we get the uh, water for the rabbits and stuff like that out of there. But I'm going to uh, put some bricks underneath it and level it out a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll just show you when we get up there. So we'll see up there in a bit. Okay, guys, what we did out here by the barn is we got this old bathtub out here that catches rainwater off, of uh, off of the roof. And it falls down, obviously, into the bathtub. Um, we leveled it out a little bit because the chickens like to come up here and drink too But what we did we took some bricks and we kind of made a little staircase inside the bathtub That way we have had a chicken or so that'll slide off into the water and then they freak out and wet chickens usually aren't very happy chickens So that's why they can get in here and get up and get out if they're in the cold water uh, Also, we had to take into consideration that uh, when it rains uh, and when it doesn't rain the water level is going to rise and lower So what we did was we just took a little piece of styrofoam here uh, so that way this part here doesn't get into the water because I'm not sure that it's waterproof. We did tape it up a little bit just to kind of keep, you know, if it rains or whatnot, keep it off of it. A little piece of styrofoam with that through the bottom so that it can kind of just float on top and, uh, and warm and thaw a little bit of water that it's, that it's around. Now, like I said, keep in mind that uh, it, we don't want it to get uh, extremely hot. We're not trying to make this a, you know, a sauna for the chickens and the goats. We're just trying to keep a little bit of water thawed, uh, and I think that'll do that. Uh, and two, everybody's going to say, well, it only works when the sun's out. Yeah, okay. One, chickens are on the roost all night long. And two, 
uh, even on cloudy days, these solar panels will make enough power to where it'll warm that up a, just a little bit. And all I got to do is get it up to 33, 34 degrees and it'll start thawing to where we can get water out of here. So there, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I think it'll work. We'll do an update here uh, in, a, in a little while. We got some cold weather moving in and, uh, but I'm fairly certain that this is going to work as far as keeping the chicken water bucket and this water bucket here, because like I said, we come out here and get water for the rabbits and fill up the, the rabbit bottles and stuff out of this tub here. So uh, I'm happy with it. Like I say, uh, you know, I got my solar panels from Missouri Wind and Solar. They're, I think they're like 55 bucks from Jeff. Uh, and this way I don't have to run any kind of wiring. I don't have to buy any kind of, you know, special 110 stuff. I can run everything off of 12 volt using the 12 volt stuff that we've got here. So uh, there you have it. Uh, I'm pretty excited. That's, that's why we don't have to keep carrying buckets full of water from the house up to here. Uh, it's going to be business as usual, so I like it. So there you go. I'll leave a link to uh, Missouri Wind and Solar's website if you're interested in grabbing a couple of these panels because they do. You know, remember back in the summertime, we used them to run computer fans to keep the chickens cool and the rabbits cool, and now we're using these same panels to uh, keep the water warm and uh, keep everybody uh, in fresh water through the wintertime. So it's going to be really cool. So thank you, guys. You have a great day. I hope this helps. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. God bless. <laughs> the end. Buzz, buzz. The end.